Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the quest Recipe for Disaster, part Saving Scratch the Bone Crusher Ugly Wee. The quest requirement is Big Jumpy Bird Hunting, and the stat requirements are 20 Fire Making and 41 Cooking. I just need it, any kind of axe and pickaxe that you can use, an iron spit, ball of wool, tinderbox, any kind of logs that you can light, some raw chumpies, the amount depends on your cooking level, the lower it is, the more you might need. Some ogre bellows, if you don't have this, search a chest inside of Rance's cave. An ogre bow and some arrows, if you have lost the bow then buy it back from Rance for 600 GP. And ogre arrows are made from anti trees, wolf bones and feathers. That's it for the items that you will need. For the recommended items, between 1 and 2 stamina potions with some weight reducing clothing. But there are some aggressive ogres and wolves, so if you have low HP, then maybe bring along some food. And for the teleports, simply one to Rance or the Feldip Hills. I will be using the glider because I've completed the quest one small favor. If you don't have that unlocked, then maybe a Feldip Hills teleport scroll or the fairy ring code AKS. Then also one teleportation method to Taibo One Eye Village. I will be using a teleport scroll since I've completed the quest with the same name else use a fairing code CKR and then lastly one teleport back to Lumbridge to complete our quest. So let's inspect Scratch Ugly and select option 1 and then 2. After we have selected option 2 we will need to make our way to Rants. I'll be using the Gnome Glider. Alright, once we've made it to Rance, let's talk to him and select option 2 and then 3. After you've selected option 3, let's run southeast. There should be a bit more land to the east and there will find one yellow dot. There will find Rance once again. Let's talk to this Rance and select option 2. Next, in the northeastern corner, use any axe on the old fallen tree, twice, first to cut off the roots, and then to hollow it. After we've done that, let's talk to Rance one more time, and select option 2. And now he's shooting an arrow all the way to Taibo One Eye Village. If you don't have any raw chumpies, tinderbox, any kind of logs that you can light and an iron spit, get those items right now. And once you have them, let's teleport to Taibo One Eye Village. Teleport scroll, fairy ring or any other method. And then run west to the coast. Just west of the Taibo One Eye Village quest start, they should find a transportation sign. Near it, you should find a small tree with an arrow inside of it. Stand next to it and then light your logs. Next, use an iron spit on a raw chumpy, then use it on the fire, and once it has been successfully cooked, it will start a cutscene. It seems that I have been quite lucky that I've gotten it from the first attempt. After the cutscene is over, let's board the ogre boat, select option 1, and Rance's kids will take you back to the Feldip Hills. Once you have returned, let's talk to Rance and select option 2.
Next, let's run west to the small swampy pond near some wolves, just like in the big chumpy bird hunting quest. And I will need to get three bloated toads. As you might remember, my favorite spot is in the northwestern corner. Next to that dead tree. Alright, let's get three bloated toads. Once you have caught the third one, let's uh, fill up the ogre bellows one more time. Be sure that you do that. And once you have filled this up, let's run north. You will now need to go run north until you see a mining sign. Once you see it, run towards it and there you should find two rocks or even more. Mine any of these rocks until you have a rock. Once you have this, use your filled ogre bellows on the bloated toad to make one balloon toad. Let's mine some more rock and do this two more times. <gasps> Fuck, I dropped it. Ah, crap. Alright, once you have two or three balloon toads, let's run southeast back to Rand's cave. Alright, a lot more east than southeast. South of the quest start, here is a darker area on your minimap, stand there and drop both or all three of the balloon toads. And now we simply need to wait until a jubbly appears. If you're quite unlucky, then you will need to do this once or even twice more. The jubbly might not appear and also you might burn the jubbly meat, so hopefully we will get it from our first attempt. Alright, unlucky. Uh, I will need to get more balloon toads. Alright, apparently only one appeared. Right, once you have at least one Rod Jubbly, let's run north to Rance's cave. And in front of it you'll find an Ogre's Pit Road. Use your Jubbly meat on it. Hopefully it will not burn, else we need to do it one more time. There we go, this is cooked. Let's teleport to Lumbridge, give this to uh, Scratch Agalagui. Do not eat it, that would kind of be annoying. Uh, use this on Scratch. Uh, look, we and congratulations, you have freed him. You are awarded with one quest point, 1500 experience in cooking, woodcutting, range and crafting. And also the ability to travel from Rance to Taibo Wanai village and vice versa, but it will cost you some random items. The cost to travel from Rance to Taibo Wanai village are two cooked chompies. And the trip from Taibo Wanai village back to Rance will cost you two of the same kind of herb that you've gotten from the jungle potion quest, except for foil. Also, they need to be cleaned. So you could either get rogue spurs, army girl, snakeweed or valencia moss, but snakeweed is the closest one that you can get. Alright, that was my quick guide how to free scratch Uglagui. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.